Hello, Internet, or Hello, Internet. As you can see right now, I'm currently in my VR character demo place with some additional stuff going on. As you can tell, I've been doing some work with the VR stuff for Nexus VR Character Model V2, which I've gotten a lot of requests for, which is the main reason that all this is going on and why I'm providing this status update. So you might be seeing closer to the middle of the screen, but actually in VR closer to the bottom of my screen, something that actually says it's the Nexus VR Character Model demo, as well as Nexus VR Core demo. Now you might be wondering, I've, as much as I've been talking about this on Twitter, but not fully explaining this, what is Nexus VR Core? If you've ever worked with user interfaces in VR on Roblox, you might realize that they're not great. For example, the core GUI is just randomly over there for me right now, instead of here, which is why this has to be floating in space rather than just on that. And also, if you worked with Surface GUIs, only the right hand is able to do anything, and under certain conditions, you just crash when doing stuff. With Nexus VR Core, the goal of it is to basically make user interfaces easier. So make VR user interfaces like screen UIs easy, as well as other things. So over here, I actually have some demos of what I've been working on. Now, Nexus VR Core includes a couple things, like, for example, making screen UIs easier to place in 3D space effectively, as well as being able to make things like surface UIs and also actually click detectors as well just work without much work on the developer. For example, with this, I have pointers now for where I'm actually pointing at a user interface, and you can disable the pointers if you don't want them. And you can do things like you can move around scrolling frames. You can actually use text boxes, which this is actually Roblox's default keyboard, not mine. And you can also interact with buttons and stuff. And you can also design your interfaces to be close enough. So, oh, say, instead of having to point and then select, if you also get close, you can actually physically tap the button instead. I have actually done this for the self-driving simulator game, and I'm bringing forward this functionality. And also, if you need to work with 3D objects, for example, buttons, there's some utilities that might make the math just a bit easier to work with. I would say, if my hand is here, what is the position on the button and how far down is it? And if it goes negative, start pressing the button. You can also do things like levers, which I also have a lever demo. So I can basically just push this lever down and also push it back. You don't necessarily need to use Nexus VR character model. In fact, the current version, version 1, as it is right now, does not, does not use Nexus VR Core, and this game just had it added effectively. You do not need any of the stuff. You can use it without it, although Nexus VR, or Roblox's default VR stuff is not great to work with. So if you are pl planning to look into VR, Nexus VR Core might be worth looking into, and if you actually take a look at the, d the usage docs, which are linked in the description on GitHub, you'll realize it's not too hard to actually use a system. It's just testing becomes more of a concern because you actually should have the headset. For example, the text is appearing closer to the bottom of my field of view, but it's nowhere close to the bottom on your screen that you're seeing this video through. Um, in terms of the VR character model rewrite version 2, it will natively include this, so you don't have to worry about setting it up, which is, is covered a bit in the documentation. I'm hoping by the end of this month, it will include a lot of stuff, like it will actually make chat usable, because currently it's not over there. And I plan to have some other enhancements to design for other things, because there have been some improvements that people have been asking for. For example, not having to press down to teleport. I am at pressing down the trigger and moving forward. Being able to rotate a place. I can't do that. Being able to change how I move. More options for moving than just teleporting or basically the character moving away and then your camera going back to it. All these I will be addressing with the new version, which hopefully should be out by the end of this year. If you're looking to integrate it into your game, consider looking at Nexus VR Core. If you're not planning to use Nexus VR Character Model, but you do want to look into VR support, so consider using Nexus VR Core. 
this place will be open source. The link will also be in the description, and this and the documentation is probably worth a look at just to see how hard or not so hard it actually is to integrate this. So, see you guys.